Future BDF here, just reminding you that any of the conversation scenes you see in this video were not broken when I filmed them. It's just something that happened to the footage for reasons I have yet to figure out. Welcome back to the 10 year anniversary special. I'm Burning Dog Face. We're here in the Fortress of Doors in American McGee's Alice. Well, that didn't work. Oh, that's right. No, you don't do that. You had to jump into it from somewhere else. I think I had trouble with that back in the day. Come on, pull yourself together. Or at least pull yourself up. Okay, what is wrong with this? Oh. Hmm. Frustrating. I was thinking about something I said. So, yes, I first used transitions in uh, Batman Arkham Origins, and I think the next game I played was uh, Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon, where there were a bunch of TVs lying around with... Uh, test patterns on them, which is why I started using the uh, jump cuts with the, uh, the test pattern on them. Except that after that, I realized that having just a second of BEEP was a uh, nice way to uh, buffer my jump cuts, so I just kept using that one. And, uh, seven years after that, I still am. God, did I really play two open world games in a row? What was I thinking? <laughs> Ooh. There's an ugly name for those who do things the hard way. Hmm. Maybe you can't summon him at will, but... I'm pushing the button and nothing was happening there. Maybe I have to wait a little bit. Ah, oh, there we go. Tell yourself I've seen worse at Rutledge's. Prevarication in this instance may help. Um... Is there like an open window or something I need to jump into? I find it interesting watching that first cutscene again, given that they retconned the shit out of that in uh, Alice Madness Returns. Yeah, they decided that Alice had a sister. And that, oh, the whole thing about the cat knocking over the lantern? That was uh, Alice's mind coming up with. What the hell? Fucking. That was Alice coming up with a way to insist that it wasn't her fault. Oh, Boojums! I remember you. Oh, that was lucky! I thought the heart ones filled you to maximum. Oh well. Maybe it's that bigger heart in the corner that does that. I do like these textures, though. There is also, uh, if I remember correctly, a version of American McGee's Alice with improved textures that comes with the console version of Alice Madness Returns. But uh, I never got to play that since I got it on PC. So if you've still got a PS3 or a uh, 360 lying around, you know, you could do worse. 
I rather enjoyed Alice Madness Returns. I didn't think it was as good as this one, graphics aside. It's a fucking beautiful game. But, uh... You know, and it had a big problem with, uh... Oh. Only the savage regard the endurance of pain as the measure of worth. So the cat eye up in the corner of the screen thought maybe I had to summon him right then for... I don't know. Circle strafe! Oh no. I like the iron lung noise it makes. Oh man, I wish I'd seen that. That's a rage potion, isn't it? Any more dudes around I could use it on? I have a memory. The first time I got one of those in the original Let's Play, I said something like, yeah, it makes you do much more damage and it makes you invincible, and then I nearly died fighting a guy. It's, or maybe not. God, I was so nervous when I started that. Time to raise some havoc for dogs of war. Oops. Oh, God. Ah, oh, Berserker! Rip and tear! Fine. Yeah, there were other power-ups like that. There was Grasshopper T, which made you really fast and jump insanely high. Which is actually required to beat some of the levels. And there was a Looking Glass. The I real Oh. Yeah, I realized after the fact that, uh... I just... Oh. No. Fucking... Yeah, there's no double jumping in this one. You got, like, a triple jump or a quad jump or something in, uh, Madness Returns. Not this one. pain in the ass or anything. Yeah, I, I called the first episode Through the Mirror Darkly, and I realized a while later that I was actually thinking of a Star Trek episode, you know, uh, A Mirror Darkened, or La Darkly, or something like that. It was one of the Mirror Universe episodes. And, uh, you know, for... Lewis Carroll, I really should have called it, uh, Through the Looking Glass at Darkly, or something like that. Shattered Looking Glass. I don't know. Are they coming back, or what? And, uh... Okay, solid ground. Good, good. If I remember correctly, this whole thing is running on the Quake 3 engine. At the time, I hadn't played any Quake games. 
I have now played the shit out of Quake 2, as well as uh, Quake 4. Just trying to think of like, things I can mention, like milestones. I know what the weirdest game I've played is. If you mean weird haha, -ha, then it's. Uh... Oh. oh! Yes, good. If it's weird haha -ha you're talking about, then it's uh, Jazz Punk. Delightful game, I really recommend it. If it's weird WTF you're looking for, then might I recommend. Uh... Oh god. Uh, might I recommend Xeno Clash? Yes, that's right. It was a first-person brawler with, uh... What the fuck? Let's not, let's not, you know... Yeah, okay. Let's pretend that's not there. First-person brawler that took place in a world that made absolutely no sense. And had all of its uh, characters treat it as if it was completely normal. It was business as usual. Just want to see if there's any goods or services down there. Oh, God! The proper order of things is often a mystery to me. You, too? Okay, the music went out. So that's the middle one. Or did I just get it right? Okay. Either I got it right, or I fucked it up, and it's never going to give me another chance, which is something that happened back in these days. What the...? Huh. Okay. I don't re I don't remember this game having auto-saves. That guy in particular. Uh, he's just a. Uh, what is that? A cl oh, club, of course. Oh, right. I remember the very first time I ever heard of this game it was a magazine ad that showed Alice standing on top of, of a, a dead card guard, like one foot casually on his body. And she's wiping the blood on her knife off on her apron. And, uh... There's more angry card guards and some weird, like, hedge maze stuff going on in the background. And just looked at this and thought, Damn! It was just the most striking thing I'd see... Okay. I'd seen in a, a video game up to that point. Oh, God, I need to fix that, don't I? Except that I fucked up. How do I unfuck it up? Oh, that's what the top one does. Yeah, okay. I mean, it's been ten years. Give me a break. The, uh... Go. Ah, 
Aha! Fortress of Doors, baby. It doesn't need to make sense. So this game did eventually get a sequel in the form of uh, Alice Madness Returns, but uh, I remember that right after... Well, shortly after it came out, anyway, there was talk of it getting instead a spiritual sequel called American McGee's Oz. Where's my HUD? up there. I have no memory of it. Tell yourself I've seen worse at Rutledge's. Prevarication in this instance. Sorry about that. I, uh, thought I'd, uh, quit the game and see if that brought the HUD back. EA used to be cool. Okay, maybe not, but fuck it, I only have four minutes left, so... I guess we'll just make do. Uh... Yeah. American McGee's Oz. It was going to be, uh... Tell yourself, I've seen worse at Rutledge's. Well, you know, exactly what it sounds like. A dark, twisted version of The Wizard of Oz, where you play as Dorothy and, uh... You probably have to fight the Tin Man and the Scarecrow and the Cowardly Lion as boss fights or something. That only ever got as far as a logo and some screenshots of empty levels they had been working on, where all the walls were green, so I assume they took place in the Emerald City. Oh. Oh! It's the Ant Soldiers. I don't remember them. There's the centipede, and there's Alice. I remember being genuinely intimidated by the centipede boss fight, because that was the furthest I had ever made it in uh, my uh, attempts to uh, beat the game before I uh, tr tried recording myself doing it. I don't know if I hit a key or something. You know, it is a older game, so it could be whatever. Live demo, folks. I don't know why Oz got cancelled as I think back on it. If I had to guess, I'd say that, uh...
it was probably something to do with uh, Alice not selling an enormous amount, which is also, incidentally, the reason it took uh, 11 years for the sequel to come out. It is fun to think about what could have been, though. Oh, that's a wall. It's just a boojum outside, so it's not kill everybody and then you can leave. I don't know what's going on. Shit. What do you say? That savage shriek is the mere tip of the iceberg that is the boojum's repulsive personality. Ugh. They had a whole series of, uh... You know, American McGee games that were, uh... You know, darkened up and given the Tim Burton treatment. I remember right after this game came out, there was even talk of doing an American McGee's Alice movie. But I guess those, uh, fell through. I've been doing this for 10 years. I feel like I should have been focusing more on that. But, you know, it's kind of hard to do that when you're playing a game. I've had some games that eventually turned into a slog. I had to take a break from Quake 2 before I came back to do the last expansion pack. Uh, I, I th I'm... Pretty pleased to say the only thing I've ever actually given up on was the Joe's, uh, not Joe's Apartment, that's a movie. Uh, Joe's Adventures, the DLC chapter for, uh, Mafia 2. Uh. You know, I know I left those playlists off, but to this day, I intend to go back and finish, uh, Bound by Flame. Uh, I need to go back and do the. Uh, Bad Blood DLC for Watch Dogs. I even intend to go back and do something with Kane and Lynch 2, since in the early days I tried to do a co-op series with a friend of mine, and it kind of fizzled immediately. Hey. Oh, and uh, Yakuza 0. Don't forget Yakuza 0. You know, maybe it's the stubbornness, but I do intend to come back and... Uh... Oh, I've got a HUD again. And finish those. I really like that idea of, you know, the enemies, all the enemies dropping Meta Essence. You can absorb. It's weird to me that Alice Madness Returns doesn't really play anything like this game. You know, let's face it, this is a third person shooter. That was dumb. Get the essence! Shit! <laughs> Suck it! I do remember that over time the meta essence dropped by enemies will break down to less and less uh, beneficial uh, forms. You know, like, from the heart, to the diamond, to the, uh, pyramid. Oh, I call Entering school requires a real leap of logic. But, uh, the timer did go, so instead of entering school, I guess I'll just have to call it. Unless I have anything else really important to say. Oh! I can't believe I didn't say it! I would like to give a special shout-out to everyone who has ever watched one of my videos. Thank you, Burning Dog fans, from the bottom of my heart. 
Without you, I would just be some guy playing video games and talking to himself. So I am extremely grateful that there are people who watch my videos. I mean, someone even made a page for me on TV tropes. I still can't get over that. So, you know, whether you've been around since Let's Play American McGee's Alice, or whether you just tuned in for, you know, Doom. Welcome aboard, incidentally. Uh, I thank you, genuinely, for coming along on this journey with me. And I hope that I can continue to, uh, entertain. Hmm. You know, I was thinking of saying, you know, that'll do it for this, but if you'd like to see how it ends, you can check out the, the original playlist. Except I'm not sure I want to recommend that, since, uh, it's very, very amateurish by my modern standards. And even my modern standards aren't amazing compared to most YouTubers. <laughs> oh, God. I cut the final boss fight in half because it had two stages for some reason. Two-stage boss fight? Two-part video! I remember saying that. But yeah. If you like this, I would recommend uh, checking out American McGee's Alice. If you really like vi this, these couple of videos, let me know in the comments and I might be convinced to, like, come back every once in a while and continue this, uh, story. I've never redone a game, but, uh, I might be convinced to try. Uh, other than that, I'm Burning Dog Face, and this has been the 10-year anniversary special for my Let's Play channel. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for coming along on the journey. Here's to the next 10 years. I'll see you on my next video. Later!